Hey guys, it's uh, Drunken Deer here, and I'm here again with my uh, channel. And uh, as you can see, I've uh, kind of got a bit crazy and not done a video for a bit, and just uh, painted these guys without doing the steps. But um, yeah, I'll show you what I've done. So we can start with the warriors, and um, <clears throat> uh, I'll also do a video on uh, some of the Warhammer stuff too, and the, the Total War. Uh, DLC and all, all that stuff, but like, yeah, I'll do these first because um, this is what this channel should be about. So, yeah, as you can see, I've hand painted the shields to give it a more authentic look. So, uh, you can see like the crab, and there's an eye, little uh, fl florets uh, looking thing with like the green guy here. My, my finger. Um, <clears throat> so, I did myself like the one with the flame. Looks a bit uh, obvious, like there's an octopus. Octopuses are really hard to draw, by the way. I'll just point that out. But, um, yeah, uh, I did all the shields by hand, and I used uh, some sources on the internet. as was um, just like Greek shields or something. So, yeah, did all them, and that uh, looks pretty good. I, I did it by hand rather than um, use uh, the... the the um the transfers just because it looks like the actual troops painted it on which i think so uh, and it gives you more practice too so i recommend doing it that way but i mean if you're going for like just to want to show off or something yeah why not um so i'll just move this guy and show you the colors so um i've done them all different so like yeah so you got the green and the yellows, very pastel sort of colors. I've tried to avoid using blues, um, even though like the shields may be blue, um, because that's like the the eye catching sort of thing. But yeah, the uh, blues are usually like a uh, very hard color to come by historically, but you know. Um, yeah, so I've been doing them and uh, I've drilled holes with into their uh, hands and hopefully I can get some uh, spears to fully complete the hop lights. They're just standing now, but I'm also going to be drilling holes into the base and uh, when I find a good stand, I'm going to just basically make it so you can slot them in and I'll be using, uh, I'll just show you here. So I use a little uh, garden wire. I'll, I'll, I'll like make a insert uh, and glue it. So this will just poke into the, the platform. Um, so that's uh, these guys. And then I've got the command over here. So um, I, I was a bit more uh, liberal um, with these guys. Um, with their colors, make them stand out. That sort of thing. Like um, this guy, nice rich blue coat, for example. Um, and that's the other thing I've, I've got to matte varnish these guys because the because they're uh, metallic they do like on these like see the tips of these coat they like go, they scratch very easily so I need to like protect them and give them a bit more layering because I, I do remember I do need to do the coats but uh, yeah um, like you can see I did the if they can focus in the the hands uh, the chest and all that the boots that's a good shade like if you can see like um there's like uh three colors uh used uh using the the foundry system so that's good ah domino effect uh and then we got the warhammer stuff that i've been doing so me troll because i'm doing a troll army for age of sigma so um i'll fix that stone up because i've had a bit of green stuff i was using um to, to fill in some gaps and stuff around him and for his base because they're, they're using the old base so that's uh me troll i got uh i basically used some warhammer paint so i got the sotec green this one the lothurn blues the touch up and the bile tan as his thing and the flesh is a flayed one flesh and this is an awesome color by the way um I, I'm a big fan of um, the foundry paints, but I also really do enjoy uh, using the Citadel's um, canvas uh, as well. That's the next layer. And then a really light brushing of the sepia, the inks. Um, yeah, and that's that's him. Uh, and then the bone, and then I've been some grey 
I need to find an, another gray for his ears, so if I pull him down there, like, I want to find a, a really fine uh, highlight for the ears, uh, to give it that, and, and the, the, the nails as well, um, like a, a gray claw color, so I'll find something like that to touch him up, but, uh, and then later on the track I'll base him. Then we got this guy here, my Ninja Turtles themed, uh, <laughs> um, green stuff guy. Um, he's a, the Mordor Orc, um, because I've been buying up the Lord of the Rings stuff, um, and the, yeah, it's pretty good, except for this model. I really hate this model, uh, to be honest, uh, it's just a horrible, uh, you say, like, there he is, to get the back, I put, I mean, I gave him, like, a, more of a padding in the suit, because his whole armor is his chest piece, and it's like these tiny little straps attached to, oh, here he goes. Uh, there's these tiny little straps attached to him and it just doesn't look feasible at all. So I padded him up, I've given him a bit more like um, <clears throat> plates and I'm gonna do it like a bronze color cause, uh, and then uh, I'm gonna redo his flesh cause I'm just really not happy with the model. It's like, uh, I've noticed with like a lot of the Lord of the Rings stuff, it's like um, in comparison to let's say, uh, the troll here where like the scales are like individual and you can really like flesh out the tones it's a hell of a lot of dry brushing on these models there's no real like all the crevices um because i've been trying to get a good color for this guy and like every time i try to like touch him up it just looks goddamn horrible but um yeah because i'm trying to make him a bit more fantasy but i'm gonna have to try and darken him up because uh yeah, he's, that's the thing with these models, I think, is like, if you don't paint them like the Lord of the Rings style, they just look awful. And yeah, uh, I gave him like a bit of a Ninja Turtle Shredder face mask. Um, so it looks, oh, that yeah, looks cool. It was like the upside down part of the mask because you got the options for the heads. Um, and I'm going to give him like, uh, if you've seen the 13th Shaolin Monk, I'm going to give him a, oh, there's like a baton somewhere, like another piece. Oh, there it is. It's right there. So like that, that's going to attach, um, down the bottom here. So he's got like a num nunchucks, Ew. wooden ones. Um, so yeah, I got that inspiration from the, the Shaolin Monk and, uh, yeah. And we got also the trolls. So I painted them all different fantasy colors and I've had a bit of a play around with them. Uh, like I said, the <clears throat> I used a lot of green stuff cause I had this like idea of doing a cooking army and I had a hat, a chef's hat and a scarf and an apron on these guys. And I've, I've just cleaned them up. So I'm going to start these guys from scratch. If you're wondering why there's like all these marks and stuff and he looks goddamn ugly. Same with this guy. I had like mushrooms on his shoulder and a, a mushroom hat and that, but I'm just going to keep these guys original. I'm just going to like, I've made him, I was trying to make him more fantasy. So less Lord of the Rings. Cause I find them a bit more gloom and doom in the, Lord of the Rings compared to the fantasy counterpart, um, which is kind of strange because they've gone all serious as well, the um, Warhammer stuff. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to paint him up to look a bit more like the trolls from the Hobbit series. So, because yeah, I had that kitchen themed army. And this guy, he actually had uh, uh, the drums, <sighs> the drums, which I took off to use but basically i had like uh ice cream and uh <laughs> and um where is it? there was something else on there there was like a chocolate cake instead and he was like he had a ladle um with the drums i, I changed it so he had like a ladle for one of them and a, a whip um a whisk for the other so yeah uh and finally we got the guys i'm working on as well um the skirmishes um i haven't finished them but i'm basically in comparison excuse my camera uh in comparison i've made him like slightly darker oh geez come on you can focus there we go um they made them slightly darker so um as you can see so they, they look like they've been more worn um in the sun because they're obviously not wearing anything but uh as they were got some nice clothing, some nice pink and salmon. I've just sort of got a bit um, bright on these guys because they're going to be, uh, you know, 
uh, they need to stand out and the, the flesh because um, it looks dark I need to make the colors a bit more brighter um, but yeah um, what else can I say um, oh um, I find uh, I'll just quickly talk about the the paints Oops, so I'm using my tablet here um, so the paints I'm finding that like the the foundry stuff is awesome like uh, much better I find uh, I use this stuff much more often um, and the colors uh, because they're more like historical colors you get more of a pastel look um, like canvas for example um, and bronze and gold and wine stain red that's a really cool color actually um, nice pink it's not that bright but it's actually like a really sort of um, grape juice you know if you know when you crush like ribena it looks like that like that purpley um pinky color and i'm finding that like the games workshop stuff uh the citadel range is a lot brighter so you got like this like fire drake orange the yellows and you got like lothan blue they're like super bright colors industrial colors which are really awesome too because it gives you that pop effect but it's yeah it's that's the trade-off as well and they got inks as well so uh foundry don't have inks but um inks are really handy um i'm finding uh but i try to steer steer away from them i don't usually use inks um but i the ink works really well with the the troll for example um to get in these crevices and stuff um and inks work really well with the the um the hobbit range as well but not so much these guys i don't really think they work that well because they're not based with these paints so they've obviously uh um which makes sense made it so uh each of the paints work together um correctly so uh that's that video um i'll give another video too uh right after this about the uh rome uh total war um not Rome Total War, the, uh, the, the Warhammer Total War. Um, so stay tuned for that, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, any questions, pop them down below. Um, but thank you for watching.